hi guys today i'll be showing you some tips um, that i follow to unwrap in zbrush you know it's not the best software to unwrap but i like to have some quick uvs so that i could really check my textures or assign some seamless noise or displacement anything something like that so let's start with this one i uh, i will show you two ways to do uv for this one okay so go to this cheap plugin uv master take it out and work on a clone so it will take the lay subdivision and make a another tool now control shift select the lasso click on the slope and auto poly group so i have three poly groups now i need two only so i click on this vertex connected vertex of two poly groups and control w for group visible and i have two poly groups now now i unwrap and because i have poly groups information so that i will enable the poly group unwrap so now flatten so as you can see i have quick, quick uvs it's uh it's not the exactly 100% straight but it works if you need to have the exact total super straight going loops or uvs then you need to have some help with maya max or any 3d other softwares they have much better uv options to do and i want to show you some control painting also now i enable con control painting and protect and for the red color i am going to fill object this whole color to this cell like this now i have to select the poly group from that edge where you wish should cut like like this okay so what I need to do mask these things open only these things paint the attach so I have only blue color on that edge where from where I want to have a cut so as you can see I painted something uh, it's not 100% accurate uh, but it will do the job and now let's turn off this poly group and unwrap now let's see the unflatten now it's connected to this one now yeah you have more continuous uv issued less seams in here so i think this will help and after this uv you have chose which uv you want you can copy the uvs and paste to the high res one so now this model have the uv you can and morph UV so this is the UV one and this is 
the model now one thing more you can do um, this flatten you can also arrange your views as I say and also you can smooth by pressing shift and turn running this the add uh, layers I don't have layer so you can smooth like this okay if you want to relax more to your UVs that is really a good option have because this is a real mesh um, you can do whatever you want from this so yeah thanks for watching guys and see you next time